I'm back. You're probably wondering, or probably not, who knows, why I was gone for so long or even gone at all. Well, the answer is that I'm part of the boys golf team at my high school and spring is golf season. Sadly, I simply cannot balance school, band, golf, and film rants without my head exploding. But it's summer break now and I'm back. I'm gonna refer to the videos that come out this summer as film rants season two because that's essentially what it is. It's the next evolution of this little YouTube channel. Next time I take a break like that, I'm gonna actually warn you guys. I did a terrible job of that this time. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about movies. I recently watched Inception for the first time. For those of you who don't know, Inception is a 2010 action movie directed by Christopher Nolan and starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It's about entering people's dreams and stealing ideas or planting ideas into people's heads. I love this movie and now it's one of my favorites. But what I really wanna talk about is the storytelling. The thing I really loved about this movie is that it let you draw your own conclusions about a lot of things and it didn't feel the need to explain every little detail of every little thing, which I really love. Why? Well, there are multiple reasons. I love it when a story keeps me engaged, when I'm not just a passive bystander watching things happen and my brain is actually working and guessing and figuring things out and wondering and asking questions. This really, really makes a story work as long as the important and essential questions are answered in a satisfying way by the end of the story. As long as there's a payoff for the setup, it makes any movie so much better. Another reason this is so great is that it adds rewatch value to the movie. It can leave you wanting to watch a film a second time because you wanna know what it feels like to watch the same story again, but knowing the answer to these important questions and being able to observe other parts of the story and being able to see it through a new lens. And as soon as I finished watching Inception, I immediately wanted to watch it again. Finally, it gives you more time to develop the characters and the story instead of spending valuable minutes explaining things that we don't necessarily need to know. Essentially, it opens up more opportunities to show and not tell. Hell. This whole issue is something I think many mainstream blockbusters struggle with, which is one of the reasons why Inception surprised me and I loved it so much. Suicide Squad is probably the worst recent example of this. It didn't give any mystery to the characters or plot and it just blandly explained literally everything that was going on instead of actually telling a good story. Inception just keeps giving you just enough information to keep you intrigued and then it all pays off by the end of the story. Suicide Squad tells you way more than you ever needed to know and does it in the most straightforward, cheap, and bland methods. I think a lot of the film industry could learn from the way that Inception tells its story. I mean, heck, literally anyone who's interested in telling stories through any medium could learn from this. I certainly did. If you're interested in filmmaking or any kind of storytelling, I would highly recommend Inception as something to watch. Well, that's about all I have for this week. It feels good to be back, and I will definitely be back next week. Until then, enjoy the nice summer weather and have a good week. See ya.